Uh, my name is Dan McFadden. I'm a professor of economics at the University of California, Berkeley, and the University of Southern California. Uh, my early training was in physics, and then I got interested in psychology, worked, uh, worked in that field for a while, and then moved to economics because I was interested in uh, the mathematics of uh, economics. And over the years, I have primarily worked on applied problems and their theoret theoretical foundations uh, and also their statistical foundations of, of measurement. The uh, primary uh, concern of uh, economists has been the individual consumer and the individual consumer's values and I've concentrated a lot of my research on how to measure those individual values. Now, consumers themselves have social concerns, and I have also worked on how social concerns and interaction with other people influence individual consumer values, and there are interesting uh, research findings there. Uh, but there's another deeper problem, uh, uh, not sorry, deeper problem, but a different problem in economics, which is how to value social goods which have a broad uh, impact, not just on a single individual. And for that, uh, those are called public goods, and for that there's also a, a very good uh, development of economic science into techniques for uh, measuring uh, the value of public goods. Uh, my, my own contributions to that, I have, a, uh, I have research on uh, the composition of economic juries, which are panels of experts uh, who, who, who th that then have the right incentives to uh, act on behalf of the entire uh, society. Uh, so I think that economists are concerned with these problems, uh, definitely, and there are techniques, interesting techniques, which have been developed for dealing with them. One of the issues in putting a value on, on a public good. A public good would be uh, something like a, an ocean uh, fish stock or the survival of a species is that you can simply ask a person to put a, a, a value on it on behalf of themselves and society and people will, will answer that question somehow, uh, but they don't have the incentive to be very precise about their answers. To get a precise value, you need to give them the correct incentives. And the way uh, we design mechanisms to do that is to arrange payments which make their benefits coincide with the benefits of the, of the society. And this is done through rather substantial monetary transfers, uh, what's, what are called um, Clark Groves or Grove Ledger mechanisms. And in small juries of people, uh, these things work quite well to uh, value public goods. That, that is, the incentives are effective in eliciting uh, honest valuations. Uh, this meeting, I think, is valuable in the sense that it uh, opens to a, a broad community, including scientists from different disciplines, the uh, thinking of various scholars on specific problems, in this case environmental uh, problems in the, in the meeting just uh, going on. And I think there is a great value in having uh, d scholars from different disciplines uh, be required to try to communicate with each other and not, not speak only in their own language. And I think it's very valuable for, for students and the general public to be aware of the scientific progress across a variety of disciplines, not necessarily uh, th their own specialization. And to me, uh, this forum provides uh, that kind of opportunity. I think that a meeting like this is, is really quite important in that science generally does a poor job of communicating with the public and actually doesn't do a very good job of communi uh, communicating across scientific disciplines. I think meetings like this are a, a, a critical part of opening that communication process and making science and the results of science available for problems of uh, national and global uh, importance.